just finished cleaning up the kitchen, dining, and living and surprised Conrad because this is usually Conrad's job. <laughs> he always does this in the morning. He gets up to clean up. But today, I did it. I even hoovered. And he's just sitting back, relaxing and playing the Switch. But anyways, I've also set up the t uh, dining table like halfway. Um, we got these placemats a couple weeks ago at Bister Village. They're by this brand. I have like the cutest um, tableware stuff. I have some other things by them as well. And then these are custom made little stocking utensil holders that I got off of Etsy. I ordered these several weeks ago. So I have a W and a C and then I got a couple plain ones for guests and stuff. Um, so it's only going to be us three for Christmas. So eventually I'll move that in the center with all our food. But for right now, because it's um, still the 24th and it's in the morning, there's plenty of time. Um, I'll set that up later as well as light the candles later. But I have this one burning now. It's a fig one, I think, from Yankee Candles. And then I changed the, um, the arrangement. And then over here, sorry, this is just like my morning potion, basically. But these are filled with um, Ferro Rocher chocolates. Um, these little like cozies I ordered from the same Etsy as this one. I'll link them below if I, if I can find them or find her. But yeah, I ordered at the same time. I just thought they were so freaking cute and make the cutest little centerpiece. Um, and then I found these napkins, I think at TK Maxx. I just thought it like matched the table very well. <laughs>
honestly it's a little confusing but once it's on i can't wait this is gonna look so cool i think this is a harness and this is a dress from jw good morning guys proper morning are you enjoying your tea jacob's just put on another movie and we're just gonna chill the aftermath of opening presents up Putting them into recycling now. Thanks, babe, for doing that. Christmas guys. We hope those who celebrated had a warm and cozy Christmas. Hope you guys stayed safe out there and ate well. Yeah, we definitely ate well. Well, for Christmas Eve, we kind of copped out. We literally just ordered Chinese takeaway, which you would have seen in the montage, but I mean, it was delicious. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I was craving it, but we had a lovely uh, Christmas roast. roast lunch for, on Christmas day. Um, and Conrad very kindly cooked most of it for us. Although I did help, effort. yeah, I helped with the sauce of the meatballs, and Jacob did the Yorkshire puddings, and um, he helped a lot with the cutting. But thank you for doing the cooking; we really appreciate it. <laughs> so I did get a couple of requests to share what I got for Christmas, but I thought I would ask Conrad to join me. How should we do this? I think we should do what we got for ourselves first. Cool. And um, then what we got from yeah family. family yeah and then what we got each other at the end. I got two things for myself for Christmas. One of the items I unboxed and showed on a previous unboxing. Well, it was in my giveaway video as well. So it's my um, Chanel 19 blue sequin beautiful cloud baby. Basically, I am so obsessed, and I've I haven't used it too 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 much because it is a special bag, but. Um, yeah, but brought it with us to Wales and I really enjoyed it there, even though I felt way too extra. I didn't, I, I like kept this in my, um, in my Dior book tote the whole time, like when I was walking around, because obviously I didn't want to walk around carrying this. <laughs> but I did pull it out from Apple Photos though. <laughs> the second item, which you would have seen in the montage as well of me unboxing it, is this um, iridescent little, they, they list this, they list this as a small leather good, but it's just like a little tiny, tiny, bag, crossbody bag, I guess, or pouch. Um, obviously, the main reason I got this was for the color. I genuinely just wanted something in this color. I didn't really 
um, have in mind what style. Um, I just wanted to see what they had, so I walked in and I saw this little baby. I thought it was the cutest little shape. I mean, there was another version of this that came out um, that I had inquired about multiple times when I walked into Chanel, but no one was able to find one for me. It was like, it was tweed purple, like um, mm -hmm. ombre, yeah. and it had like a chain here. And then, like, I really like the ones with the chain. Um, so maybe like if I ever considered getting something similar to this again, I'd get the one with the chain because I think it's cute being able to hold it like up like yeah. that. This one doesn't have it, but I got it for the color. I wanted something from the color. Um, I brought over my boy bag as well because it has a iridescent purple color. So I want to compare. This is more like red pinky tone, like rosy tone, and this is like more of a deeper purple. But I love iridescent colors. These are like unicorn colors to me. Really, really pretty, so I couldn't resist it. Here's the inside with the authenticity card. I really appreciate that they have a little pocket slot for a card because this doesn't look like it would fit card holders. I've brought two different types of card holders. Um, this is obviously a normal card holder. This one's more like an organizer because it's like a folding wallet, so it's definitely thicker. And yeah, it won't fit in this way or this way. And it, I don't think this will fit either, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a little bit, yeah. So this back little pocket here will come in handy for putting obviously your cards and stuff like that. Oh, actually there's a slot in the front too. I didn't notice that, there's two pockets. Oh. That's convenient, okay, that's nice. good. Well, they, they must have had to do that because like, yeah, you wanna be able to put, organize a little bit in there. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's just a little, round pouch and I just like, yeah, the, the shape of this is so adorable. Um, I love round bags anyway, so I'm excited to use this. So I treated myself to a palace hoodie from Dover Street Market. I really like this. It's colorful fleece. Oop. Oop, sorry. With a laser print at the back. Yeah, I love, yeah, this is super cozy and warm. And I want to steal it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely will. Yeah. Yeah. I love the colors. This is like, yeah, it's just easy. Yeah, it's cool. On to what we got from family and friends. Well, for me, it's just friends. He got some stuff from family. Yeah. Would you like me to start then? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Well, maybe we can start with that one and we can show it together. Yeah. So from his sister and her boyfriend, they got us matching... <laughs> Love these. Sweaters. Mine's like a cropped, well not cropped, but it's just shorter. Super cute. I love the little pockets. I love houndstooth. And they also got me, since they know I love Cordura products and like Gore-Tex, stuff like that. Just a little black jumper. Nice. Yeah. And they also got you Swedish fish as well. And Swedish fish, which are almost finished now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Although, I don't even know where to start because my besties definitely spoiled me so much this year. Super grateful, but they're crazy. Um, Kyle not only sent me one, but he sent me two um, Christmas, well, one of them is a birthday present though. <laughs> like a really freaking early birthday present, which he told, which he told me I could open now. Anyways. Um, I think the birthday present was this because it came with a birthday card. My birthday is not till March, but yeah, I'm just I opened it early. Do you want to open this one for me? He got me. He sent me these beautiful plates. How freaking beautiful! This is so me. I love. I just love like one-off random plates, like eclectic plates and stuff. So this is the brand Sret Sret Sretis Table. I think they have a clothing brand as well. I think they make oh, clothing cool. and other accessories as well. Really, really cute. I'm pretty sure Kyle showed me this brand before. Um, but yeah, the little unicorn, I love it. It's very like kitschy and like vintage inspired, like retro vibes, so really like that. And then he also sent me with the package, he sent me this little pouch with like um, cartoon characters. Obviously, he got this because there's like this adorable elephant on there. I think this is like a, um, a notepad. I love like little random things like this. And then his, I think this is, I believe his mom picked this out for me or bought this for me. Um, this is a little Starbucks snow globe with a little elephant inside. It says Thailand. That's sweet. 
Yeah, I love this. <laughs> Elephant is so cute in there. He's wearing a little <laughs> apron. Um, so yeah, that is what he sent me from Thailand over and it miraculously arrived on time. My package to him, I sent like at least two weeks before he sent me his and it still hasn't arrived to him yet. So I'm a bit worried, but hopefully he gets it. Um, the second package was in a JW Anderson bag and I was like, you are crazy. When I opened it up, I was a little confused, I'm not gonna lie, like, I was like, this is <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but once it, once I um, asked him for a reference photo, I was like, this is so freaking cool. Um, and I tried it on and it really does look awesome. So this is a sample piece, so it doesn't have any tags in it and there's like, no sizing, so I don't know what size this is. But <laughs> yeah, it's a sample size, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's a long maxi dress with splatters of polka dots black polka dots and then on the shoulders here there are like two bits of fabrics on both sides so like one hangs on the back of your shoulder one at the front on both sides um and this is really nice because it like moves when you when you walk with the dress it's like nice for movement so i really like that um and then so you basically wear this underneath with this on top which i actually at first thought this might be like a really like massive belt but it's actually a harness so you basically wear, you loop your, your no, you don't loop, you put your arms through here and here. <laughs> um, and then these two would just cup your boobs basically, which I basically need to tie my hair up to do this and then let my hair down or else my hair just like gets tangled way too much into this and it just is a mess. So yeah, I when I tried it on, I tied my hair up, put everything on then I took my hair down and it looked really, really cool. Um, I love this. This is this accessory is so cool and this would look good with other things other than this dress So that's really cool So Callie my godson and his parents kindly gave me these socks I'm not very flexible <laughs> but Nice little Grip on the bottom and Santa cover <laughs> Yeah, very cute from another friend of mine Yen. She really kindly gifted me this beautiful candle um, which she actually told me not to burn, so I'm not going to. I wouldn't have burned this anyway. This is too beautiful to burn. I believe it's from a brand called Anais, Anais, or I think it's A-N-A-I-S, if, if I remember correctly. Yeah, something along the way. Um, I threw the box where I shouldn't have, but yeah, it's so pretty, this candle. She also gifted me this little Lueve Solid perfume. I really like the packaging of this perfume. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, it's like magnetic. And yeah, it's a little solid perfume. Well, it uh, smells floral. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then in the little orange box, there were a couple little Ken Price kind of like ornaments, I think. Little ornaments. Yeah. Really, really cute. So that was from me. And she also gave us a couple of like sweet treats, which we've already opened and eaten half of, so I won't bother sharing that. So next up, Jacob kindly gave us both some gifts, starting with these yeah. little, I don't know what you would call these, little, little sacks, like tiny little sacks. Yeah, they're from Fortnum Mason. With and our initials. Yeah, he got them customized our initials. Um, so this was like our stocking stuffer from him. He put... He gave us both a packet of these Pokemon cards, which I'm obsessed with because we are, we've, all, all three of us have been obsessed with playing with Pokemon on our Switch. So he gave us Pokemon cards and they're just like such throwbacks. I love them. I'm like really wanting to start collecting them now, but Conrad won't let me because I don't need to be collecting Pokemon <laughs> cards, which is right, which is true. Um, but yeah, this is fun. And then also with this face mask, is it pomegranate? Yeah, I don't know where yeah. mine went, but yeah. And a cute little kin drag. Yeah, that's cute. He also got us both this um, hot chocolate in our stockings. Um, I think it's, did he say it's from a, a, a shop in Camden or somewhere? This brand, Chin Chin. Yeah, it comes with like the cups and the spoon, which I thought was like, yeah, cute little detail. Um, Wish this was like a reusable cup. That would be even more yeah. cool. But yeah, the packaging looks really, really cool. So this is hot chocolate. I'm obsessed with hot chocolate. Conrad, not as much, but best hot chocolate in London. So apparently it's rated the best hot chocolate in London. I remember he was, he was telling us about that. Yeah. So I'm gonna test this out either tonight or tomorrow. 
Um, what else did Jacob give you? He also gave me, since he knows I like Guinness, when after we went to Ireland earlier this year, a nice little pint mug with a cool little bottle opener. I really like um, having like the matching beer glasses to the beer. I have a couple as well, but mostly just for like the decor. Okay, so he's just gone to get the other item from Jacob. I, it's because I put it away in the bar. In the yeah, bar. I don't know how I could forget this. We got whiskey. Yeah, some classic Scotch Glenfiddich. Nice. Can't go wrong. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, I'm happy too. And then my main presents from Jacob. Oh my gosh, guys. He not only got me one Gucci item, he got me two, guys. Way, way, way too generous, this crazy boy. Thank you, thank you so much, Jacob. This is so much, and I'm like so obsessed with both items. You can open that one first. So he got me a beautiful candle. How stunning. I love the color of this. And then there's a black snake at the top. It smells good. Yeah, it's quite floral. Yeah. It smells like rose. But yeah, very pretty. I know that Jacob got a matching one for himself as well, like a blue one. And then he got me a freaking pillow, guys. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. My first Gucci pillow. It's got a cat on it. I um, love the tassels on four corners. Here's the back. The little tag there. How pretty is this pillow? Beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. I know he got himself a matching pillow as well. But although his has got a snake on it and mine's got the cat on it. So pretty. And then lastly, although those are very generous gifts and I'm obsessed. He also got this made for me, which is honestly my favorite thing that he's gifted me. This is amazing. This kind of stuff always makes me so happy. I love sentimental things like this. Um, he made a little book with some of his favorite photos of us. These are more like memory photos. A lot of these did not make Instagram. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love this book. This is when we first met at Mew Mew. This, is, this book isn't in order of our friendship because this is more recent um, and it goes back and forth kind of thing. But yeah, like this page here with us doing TikTok dances. <laughs> Love that. This is when we were living together. Um, we were learning like an Ariana Grande dance. I don't know. I just love this so much. So I actually speaking of sentimental gifts, I, I also showed this one in the montage as well. This one is a calendar that one of my close friends in America sent um, to me and Tiana, which is, she's definitely been on my YouTube channel before, on my channel, when we when I went to Thailand. Um, no, was it Thailand? It was, no, it was Indonesia, sorry. Um, she was in my vlog. But yeah, us three were like super tight and um, he sent us this calendar. It's the same calendar. Full, filled with just actually really awful photos of us <laughs> um, on March because it's my birthday he decided to put this photo in which I don't know I mean this is fine this is cute but this photo though <sighs> great and then like can we just show, I'm gonna show you his page he gave he put him he put like the best pictures for himself all good photos of him <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I love sentimental things, like, then sentimental things like this, as well as cards in general. I love receiving cards. They're like genuinely gifts to me as well. Being able to open a card like on random mornings whenever they get posted through. Guys, I almost forgot one of the presents from Jacob. Um, I just accidentally put this in the wrong pile, I guess. Um, yeah, just hidden amongst the mess. Yeah, but he also got me this amazing Jonathan Adler puzzle. How cool, how beautiful, because um, the other one that we did with Snoopy, we've actually framed it, and he knows I like this print from Jonathan Adler, so he thought that once we um, put the puzzle together, we can frame it as well. This looks freaking difficult, though, like all of this, are you kidding me? Uh, but it looks really, really beautiful. So I'm sure we'll have time to do this at some point. I'm excited for this. So 
The first thing that Connor gifted me for Christmas is a new bed set and this is like, I'm so excited for this because I had spotted this in anthropology and actually a couple people had um, sent it to me showing me that I need this and I'm like, I know girl, I need this. <laughs> um, but it was one of those things where I was like, I was kind of putting it off a little bit. I was like, I'll just get it like when it goes on sale or something um, because anthropology always goes on sale and obviously it's sale season. However, Conrad beat me to it and purchased the bed set for me. So these are the pillows. And then here is the bedding. I've already like kind of opened it a little bit, but it's got elephants all over it. How amazing are the colors? I love obviously the elephants, the polka dotted elephants. Um, my other favorite are the rainbows. So Anthropology actually had this bedding on their like showroom bed. Um, and they, the way they styled it was amazing, and I honestly just want to copy that, but no, it's, I, would, I won't. But at least have the bedding, it's so pretty. Going along with the bedroom theme, Conrad also got me a lingerie set, which I won't share the full set, but I'll share this because this is so dainty and pretty, and I love things like this. Oh, it's tied in the wrong way around, but um, it's basically like this little slip top. But it's so cute, I love the little lacing at the top, it has like chitem all over it embroidered super delicate and pretty i love this and then again bedroom theme he also got me a pair of versace slippers actually i was ordering a pair for a friend and then saw these and really liked them as well um so connor decided to treat me to them how freaking cute are these slippers i love the colors um i just need the robe now so i'm gonna go and Get the robe at some at some point actually i know what, what robe i want it's just been sold out in my size for ages so i have to wait but love the colors super vibrant this is super cute he got me a little um a little london themed frame and then you put our christmas photos in there which is really really cute i like that and you find a place for this i love the frame as well really cute um in my stockings he put these two louis vuitton city guide books in there um, one Rome and a San Francisco. He wanted to get the Milan one, but um, that sold so out, yeah. So he asked me to pick a random city and I chose San Francisco. I think the rest of the gifts that Conrad gave me um, are from Bister Village. We were there um, to get presents in general and obviously took the opportunity to shop for ourselves. And Conrad took the opportunity to get me some of my gifts as well. So actually, some of these I've, I've even picked out myself, so <laughs> I'll explain when I show you. First two items are from Gucci, and I actually picked both of these out myself um, because, well, I was in there shopping for other things, which I hauled in a previous video, and these were two of the other things I, I chose as well, but Conrad decided to treat me to them, so I couldn't show you guys until after Christmas, but the first item was are these gloves. Look how freaking cute they are. They've got strawberries embroidered all over it. I mean, it's not like going to keep, it's not the, the glove that's going to keep you warm, but it's so pretty. I have a matching headband to this. Oh my gosh. I mean, this looks ridiculous what I'm wearing now, but I feel like maybe with like a really cool suit with this, that would look yeah. really, really cool. So I'm excited to have fun with these. And the second item are a pair of sunglasses. And I actually shared this one in my previous video i chose this pair just like simple well not simple this <laughs> it's got rhinestones all over it but to me it's pretty pretty cash i'm kidding um this however is not cash at all this is the second pair i chose <laughs> look how insane these are um i really like these and i guess so did conrad that's why he decided to treat me to it um, they look ridiculous with what I'm wearing, not wearing now, but... They're cool. They? They're cool, yeah, aren't I'm they? I'm excited to see them with an outfit. Yeah. And it's like one of those things where I would never pay for this full price. So, um, this is something that definitely you want to get on a good discount at Bister because you don't want to... Because it's not something I would wear all the time. This is definitely like for an outfit, right? Definitely. Yeah, so those two are from Gucci and like I said, I picked those out myself. However... He picked out a pair of gloves for me at Loewe and I think he did a really good job, babe, because, I mean, honestly, it's not the first thing I would pick out for myself, but now that I have it, I know it's going to be the most practical and probably the most worn glove in my collection because, sorry, I should just show you guys the gloves. 
these are the gloves. Let me just take them out. Reason being, these will actually keep me warm because it's wool on the inside, this knit wool. Super freaking cozy. And the leather is so buttery, I love it. It feels so good. I love the studding as well. This is like for like actual cold, like yeah. I'm about to. <laughs> do a good job yeah this is so cool as well i love this little bit at the top i really like these thanks babe oh, i'm glad you like them yeah and then i also received two things from fendi the crazy baby thank you um this item i'll share first because this is like literally the most random thing ever but if anyone's gonna like it it's me <laughs> comes in its own little pouch and it is a tiny little, I guess it's a little charm keychain thing. Yeah. Um, but it has a mini comb on the inside. Look. Oh my God, how random is this? It's so cute. I love the little Fendi logo on it as well. Really cute. Um, it probably works better on your hair than mine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think at first I thought that it was like gonna double, like expand, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like flying a fold over, but then I just thought, no, it's really cute anyway. Yeah. You'd appreciate it. I do. I like random cute little things that make no sense. <laughs> Last thing from Fendi was a hat. And actually, this is so we were both in Fendi. Um, I was looking for a present for someone, and he was off wandering around doing his own thing. Um, and I stumbled across a, a black hat that I really, really liked and I tried it on, I thought it was the cutest thing ever and I was considering getting it for myself. Anyways, actually, Conrad spotted the hat before me, which I didn't know he did, and he actually asked the sales associate to um, show him other color options and I did not know that they had a brown version of the hat, but look how cute this teddy hat is. I am obsessed. This is so me. I like this better than the black one that I saw. I didn't even yeah. ask her if there were other color options. Um, I just thought I liked the black one already because it's nice and fuzzy and cozy. And we all know my ears get super cold. <laughs> so this really helps. And this, I mean, this is gonna keep me so warm. I love it. And I love how it buttons up down here. Yeah. It's kind of like equestrian almost. It is, bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh no, I can't get it off. <laughs> it's really tight. Thank you. Guys, I cannot believe I forgot to show this choker. This is from Conrad as well. Um, it's not focusing, is it? But as I was cleaning up, I saw this. It was just underneath everything. I'm so annoyed, but this is a beautiful choker from Conrad. I actually remember when this collection launched and I really, really liked it. It's like this, like um, a block, like a toy block kind of theme. It's like stars on the sides. And then a D at the front and then a star there, of course. But um, but yeah, I saw this collection when it launched, but when I went into the boutique, they didn't have a lot left and what they had I wasn't really keen on. Um, I didn't, I never seen this choker though. So when I saw it at Bistro, I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty, I want it. Um, I was gonna get it, but then Conrad took it off me and paid for it, so thanks, babe. So Wen Wen treated me to a beard growing kit from this brand, Copenhagen Grooming, that I had been following for a little bit. Um, yeah, came in this cool, with this cool pouch, which says, Dear Security, this bag only contains awesome products. So <laughs> I'm excited to try this out and see the progress over the next few months. Yeah, I mean, this is something that he, he actually wanted to get himself. Yeah. But because I didn't have anything for his stocking stuffers yet, I was like, let me get it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, because I don't know anything about beard growing kits, but this looks really cool. You didn't even show what, like, this looks oh, like. Oh yeah, my bad. This is the, like, activator roller that you use on your face with the serums. And he basically wants to work on his beard. Yeah, just to fill up I those think patchy it's fine, areas. But he, I mean, we're all going to be more critical with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I briefly shared these before in another video, but it's the duffel bag from North Face and Brain Dead. I can open it up quickly. Yeah. 
And here is the, sh I'll show the shirt while you're getting that up. So I think he's, he, he plans to wear it together, right? So I got him the, the duffel. I didn't get him the shirt. I think you got the shirt yourself. Yeah. Very cute colors. I love it. So I'm excited for you to uh, finally use it. I think yeah. he was like, he was itching to use it for when we went to Wales, <laughs> but That's it, okay. was, it was under the tree and he was not allowed to. <laughs> so one one also gifted me this San Miguel mug. A uh, beer, beer glass, celebrating 130 years. So um, I really like that. Nice details. Again, we were like walking through Sainsbury's and he spotted it and picked it up <laughs> and really liked it. And then he put it back down and then walked off. So I was like, I'll get it. <laughs> Jogging bottoms from the Sony. That when when got me, I really like these colors and they're so, so very comfortable. These items, this is from Bister as well. Yeah cuffed at the bottom as well. Um, Conrad loves to wear like jogging pants, so he's always buying like comfortable homewear clothes, so I thought that would be cute. Yeah, then next is this hat, this beanie from Gucci, the hound's tooth print. I really, really love this and I don't usually go for hats like this um, like I used to, but I really like this. When I put it on, I was or sold instantly. Yeah, you suit beanies though. Cause like your, your hair like kind of curls Yeah, if out. my hair doesn't show, then I'm not, I don't really like it that much. But yeah. Uh, yeah, these really, really like this. So actually like, funny story with this beanie, I actually was looking for a gift for someone else and I saw this, I was like, this is cute, then tried it on. And then I liked it and I was like, okay, I have to get two of these so that you know, we, can, we can each have one. Um, but then <clears throat> the lady, went to go check and said that there was none left. This was the last one and it was in a large. So I got Connor to try it on and then he said he liked it. So I was like, okay, I'll just get it for you. <laughs> I found something else for my friend, <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I'm gonna borrow that off him at least for like, but it's like, it's just too big for myself. So yeah, I got a fat head and my hair is a bit longer at the moment. So it yeah. works. Yeah, I'm glad that it fits <laughs> you though. Obviously it's his, but I'm gonna borrow it once for a photo. <laughs> yeah, this. Was really not expecting this from Bottega. Another hat. I literally just always buy hats for you. <laughs> yeah, she knows I like hats. Got a little collection growing. Nothing from Bottega yet, so I was really happy with this, with their classic weaving there. Weave yeah. there. Yeah, he really likes my Bottega shoes. Um, like he loves like how like um, buttery and like nice the leather yeah, colors the and the leather. And yeah, the, their furniture as well really like Bottega and this color is like easy to match with a lot but I don't have much khaki at the same time so great job thank Thanks. you babe last but definitely not least my main gift when one surprised me with a water rower doesn't quite look like it <laughs> no it's gonna arrive in like six to eight weeks um, well when I ordered I ordered it probably like three weeks ago or a month ago I yeah, know. made to order, so so it's gonna it's gonna be a minute. But I at least wrapped it. Um, I wrapped the like receipt up with like um, a pillow and a box and made it look like a present so you can open it up. But yeah, so I ended up choosing the water rower from the brand Water Rower. Uh, it's like a wooden water rower and it's so beautiful. And we, I mean, we both have gone to look at it in like different showrooms and stuff. And we both like the dark wood the most. What's the dark wood? Oh, uh, I think. Oak wood, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's so freaking pretty. So or walnut. And yeah, I knew Conrad was eyeing it and he really liked it. So I decided to jump the gun and buy it for him. <laughs> I think he was going to get it with me like in the next couple of months. But yeah, I decided to do it before he did. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to it. Yeah. So I think that's everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we got for Christmas and the little montage of what we got up to during Christmas with Jacob. Um, it was very quiet and chilled and yeah, yeah just watched movies. Fun. Yeah, enjoyed it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any comments you guys have down below and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with us again. And until our next or my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Bye!